Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be similar to another one that I did. Um, in the other one, I included about four or five products from the drugstore that I did a first impression, review, and a demo on. And I also did my full face and gave you guys updates throughout the day. This video is going to be very similar to that. I might not use as many products, but I'm definitely going to be trying out some new products that I purchased from the drugstore. The new product that I'm going to be trying out, and that is the True Blend Foundation from CoverGirl. I took the shade M4 and on the bottle it says new shade nuevo tono so this I don't know if it's a new formula I just think it might be new packaging and just a more variety of shades so I have this in M4 I am about an NC30 to NC35 more leaning towards NC30 as you can see here my cheeks are really red I have rosacea and I have combination skin so I definitely need foundations that control oil but at the same time I need foundations that can help out cakey skin dry skin flaky skin I also have a lot of acne breakouts that are currently drying because of the benzol that I'm using and the salicylic acids so um, they're kind of patchy and a lot of makeup tends to cake up in those areas so I have this foundation for the simple fact that I need something hydrating and just something new and I remember reading on the website that this basically says it blends perfectly into your skin and looks really natural while still giving you coverage and for those of you who look at the ingredients in the foundations this one is a water-based foundation which is actually really good for people with oily skin so I'm actually kind of lucky that this is water-based now I just want to go ahead and read to you what it states on the covergirl website it says true blend liquid makeup is available in 21 shades and features a new shade matching system so basically this is supposed to be the perfect match it's supposed to be almost invisible very natural looking and just a really good foundation I'm gonna go ahead and put about a pump and a half it's a little tiny bit runny. If you keep your hand like this, it will definitely migrate. It would just take a while to get down. As far as color goes, this looks like it might be a little bit too dark or it looks like it has a lot of yellow undertones in it. So now I'll just go ahead and apply it to the right side of my face. I pumped out about a pump and a half and I dipped the brush in about half of the product on my hand and it's a lot of product for the side of my face I'm not gonna take any more product I think that's actually enough for the whole entire face and the foundation has a lot of yellow undertones it's really really yellow so I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I can already see that it's light coverage it's definitely not medium or full coverage and it did blend very seamlessly very effortlessly um, a little product goes a long way this product is very invisible and it really does disappear on your face it has minimal coverage so it's very lightweight I'm looking in the mirror right now I do have a lot of acne scarring here I tried to put a bit more product to try and cover that area but it's just not covering as well as I would like it to um, but it did do a good job at sort of trying to even out that area um, it doesn't look that bad I would definitely go out with my face looking this way as far as redness and maybe other type of blemishes on my face it did do a good job at that I don't have any redness around my nose area and my rosacea is acting up really bad you can see here it's really red so it did diminish some of the redness but there is some redness still coming through in this area um, and I mean it did a really good job so now let me just go ahead and apply the foundation to the other half of my face and I'm just gonna use about a half a pump more Alright, so this foundation is definitely way more yellow than my skin. I'm gonna take a little bit more and put it down my neck because I just feel like it's gonna be so obvious outside and I do have to go outside so I don't want to look like a two-tone. Now does the foundation look all natural? Does it look really good? Yes, it does. It looks really nice. I look like I don't have anything on and it gives you a very subtle glow all over the face. It feels really soft. It feels like it's just completely set and melted into my skin. It disappeared just like it says. So I think the only thing that's off right now is the color. I'm not going to go ahead and set the foundation. I'm going to leave it as is because I seriously feel 
like it's very lightweight like it might not even do anything to my oily skin so we'll just go ahead and see how well that works out so the next product is going to be the new Maybelline master highlight and this is by face studio this is their new highlighting blush and the shade that I'm going to be using is number 30 which is coral I did swatches in my drugstore haul video so I'm not gonna do one right now but this is what it looks like and I'm just going to use an echo tools brush to apply it on my cheeks there is a lot of fallout with these blushes I do notice that so I'm just actually pressing the brush on top versus doing the little spinner rule and now I'm going to go ahead and apply it I can already see a glow as soon as I apply this and you know I'm gonna be honest with you guys these blushes actually remind me of the Milani baked blushes except Milani is way more pigmented when I turn you can see the glow it's definitely more dramatic now on the left side of my face you can see there is a glow this is the natural glow from the foundation so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the blush on that side just take a look this is the cheek without the blush and now this is the cheek with the blush <music> So this blush definitely has more of a glow versus pigmentation. I like the fact that color does come through but the glow is the obvious attraction. So if you like those kind of blushes this is definitely a product for you. And now for the final product of this video I'm going to be trying out the new Intense Lip Color NYC City Proof Twistable Crayons. Say that five times. And a lot of companies are coming out with these sort of products, these jumbo lip pencils. And I think the only difference between all of them is that some are stains and some are just hydrating, glossy type of lip balms. I did try out one of these. The ones that I tried out was, I think, the Brooklyn Brown. So now the shade that I'm trying out today is number 20 and it says Riverside Rose. This is like an everyday color that you can wear. My lips looked really ashy and pale and this definitely gave them life. It just made them look really nice. I don't know if you guys agree with me. I'm not a lip gloss type of fan but I'm super happy that this is not glossy but it still gives you a beautiful shine. My lips feel like I just put a lip balm on them. They feel moisturized. I can smile. I can open my mouth. I can laugh. I can do whatever and I just feel like my lips are extremely moisturized. So right now it is 151 basically 2 o'clock I do have to go pick up my daughter from school um, I have to go food shopping and just cook and do a whole bunch of things I'll be back in about three to four hours depending on what I'm doing to update you guys so stay tuned for my next update bye hey guys I'm back really quick right now it's 351 so it's about two hours since I applied everything on my face now I applied the NYC these are the new intense lip color uh, crayons. When I applied it, it was moisturizing. It felt really good. It felt like I had a nice saturated lip full of color, just really nice. I got to my daughter's school around 2.45 and I felt like my lips were getting a little bit dry. Not dry like cracky and chap, more like dry like it was going from a creamy formula to a matte formula. So I didn't see anything about this turning matte, but right now if you look at my lips, it's completely matte. Um, I didn't eat anything, I haven't drinking anything. There is, however, a little layer of tackiness, and I guess that's from the shine that comes from using this crayon. It's not overwhelming, it's just very, very slight. So that's the update for the lip crayon. And I also want to mention that when I picked up my daughter, her teacher saw me and she was like, oh my god, you look like so nice your makeup looks so nice and you know it was like my first compliment I'm like wow I'm testing out products thank you she kept staring at me she's like no you look really flawless so you know I guess this foundation is pretty awesome and I think it would be even better if you use a concealer because I can already see like my ugly pimples coming through here which is bothering the heck out of me I still do think it's too yellow but I think it's nice I think it works okay but that's it that's the update it's four o'clock now and I will be back very soon guys with the final update bye hey guys welcome back I'm here with my final update Right now, it's been about seven hours. It's 8.19 p.m. So now let's just go ahead and jump right into the final thoughts and how everything held up. The first thing I wanna get into is the foundation. When I applied this foundation, it definitely looked a little bit darker. It looked like it had heavy yellow undertones, and I was correct. I went out in natural daylight, I took some pictures, and I just looked at the way it compared to my 
chest. I'm gonna say it's like a shade too dark and the undertone, which is yellow and warm, is just really strong. So I am gonna go back to the drugstore, which is Rite Aid for me, and I'm gonna try and see if I can exchange it for the M3 if I can find it. But don't get me wrong, just because I didn't choose the correct color doesn't mean that it is not a true blend with the perfect matching system. This was really close. Usually when I go foundation shopping, I just can't even look at the bottle and guess my shade. I think this foundation is perfect. It's light, it's natural, blends very nicely. Um, I like the color coding system. I like the fact that it suits all skin types. I think it's safe to say it suits all skin types because I have incredibly oily skin and it's also combination and it just it melted right in my skin. I don't feel heavy. I don't feel slick. I don't feel oily. I do have a little bit of oil in the T-zone, but it looks like a natural oil. So the foundation is definitely good. But if you have acne scars, severe redness, uh, pimples and stuff like that, you might want to go in with a concealer first. The next product that I want to get into is the Master Highlight Blush by Maybelline. This is by Face Studio. I really like this blush. I think it's pretty awesome. I love the whole concept of adding a highlight to a blush. I just think it's amazing. Like whoever thought of that is genius. It helps you cancel out the amount of products that you need to use. So instead of using a highlight, a blush, and a contour, you could just use the blush with the highlight and contour if you want because that's definitely optional. The color did start to fade after the fourth hour so that's a downfall. But I mean, I did apply just a light amount. Um, I went back on this side, you could probably see it. I went back here and I applied a whole lot more of the product just to see the color that comes through so you can compare both sides. And you can definitely see the right side has way more color and way more of a glow. Way more, yeah, way more of a glow. I don't even think that makes sense. Has more of a glow versus the left side. The left side still has a glow, but it looks dull when comparing it to the right side. But I do think these are fun and very creative blushes to use, and I think it's totally worth the $6.99, $7.99 that they're going for. Now, for the final product, which is the NYC City Proof Twistable Crayon. These are the lip crayons. It applied with a little bit of a shine, which I absolutely loved. It felt absolutely hydrating, beautiful. I had to layer it to get the desired pigmentation. It's a great product, especially for $2.99. It was a steal, and a lot of times Rite Aid has NYC on sale, so you can probably find them for 40% off or buy one, get one 50% off. So I would buy these when they're on sale. Now, after two hours, the first application, it completely faded, the shine was gone, but I did have the stain. I reapplied, I have eaten since then, I cooked, and I was just in the kitchen doing a hundred million things, and um, I have tackiness left over. Um, it has a bit of a stain, but the tackiness is what's killing me right now. I could show you what I mean by tackiness versus explaining it. So right now, just concentrate on my lips. I'm gonna press them tight together, really, really tight, and then I want you to see how long it takes for it to actually open. <laughs> okay, so that was weird, but Basically inside here, not so much the outer lip portion, but the inner lip, I feel like a tackiness and I feel like like if I had lip gloss on and it just stuck my lips together. My lips are also starting to feel a little bit dry. They don't look dry, they don't look chapped, but they're starting to feel like they need a little boost. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just put a little bit more on. Um, and that's one thing I like that if your lips do start feeling dry you can just go ahead and apply a little more you know sometimes products over dry your lips make them look chapped cracked and just horrible and then you go and apply some more and your lips just look crazy this product doesn't do that you can actually apply more and it does a really good job at moisturizing your lips adding some color and not making your lips look chapped as heck. It lasts about two to three hours, because remember, I didn't eat earlier, so it lasts about two to three hours. The darker shades might leave a darker stain, so they might last maybe like three to four hours, but six hours, 
maybe with another application in between so guys that was the last product I hope you guys enjoyed these videos where I put a whole bunch of products in one video review them test them out do first impressions and demos and all of that good stuff so I appreciate you guys for watching let me know how you like my new lighting setup mommy chula which is Lily here on YouTube Help me pick it out and I just I'm in love with it I hope it looks good on camera let me know what you think about it down below thank you guys so much for watching remember to link your Google Plus channel so I can reply make sure to share these videos give them a thumbs up and that's it for now I will see you guys in my next video bye